trace of a matrix. It is the sum of the diagonal elements, like in this case. A is a matrix with elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. The trace of this matrix is the summation of these diagonal elements. So the trace of A is A plus E plus I. Here we have one important point to note. It's found that the trace of AB is equal to the trace of BA. Let me show this with an example. Here we have two matrices A and B. A has ABCD and B has PQRS. And we have the product AB, these are the elements, and BA, these are the elements. And this is the trace for this, where we have AP, BR, CQ, and DS. And the trace of BA is AP, CQ, BR, and DS. And these two are equal. The next operation is transpose of matrix, wherein we interchange the rows with the columns. Like in this case, A is ABCD. The transpose of A written as A power T. This is formed by interchanging the rows with the columns. The first row AB, I'll write as first column in this way. The second row as second column. So this is the transpose. What if, if I take the transpose of this particular matrix? Again, we interchange and the double transpose will result in the same matrix. Therefore, we can say A transpose whole transpose is A. And suppose we have a matrix product AB. And if we transpose this, it is found that this is equivalent to B transpose A transpose. Very important. Remember this. And this reversal is happening here because of the interchange of the rows and columns. So keep this in mind. And then if you take the transpose of A plus B, this is A transpose plus B transpose. The validity of these two, you can take an example and test it. For now, let me skip this. And there are a few more things to note. If at all, if you take the transpose of a matrix, and if at all, if this matrix is equivalent to the actual matrix, then this matrix is called as symmetric. And if A transpose, becomes negative A, then it is called skew symmetric. And if the product of A transpose with the actual matrix A, if it becomes an identity matrix, then A is called orthogonal matrix. Here is an example for symmetric matrix. And it's pretty easy to identify the symmetric property. Just look at the elements on either side of the diagonal. This element will be equal to this. This will be equal to this and this will be equal to this. So it is symmetric about the diagonal. Then only when we take the transpose, it becomes the original matrix. And here is an example for skew symmetric. In this, the either side of the diagonal elements will be of opposite sign. If this is plus, the other one must be minus. And for orthogonal matrix, there is no direct strategy. We need to take the transpose and we need to multiply. If at all it becomes identity, then only we can say it as orthogonal. Here we have a matrix with some complex numbers. For these sort of a matrix, we can form the conjugate matrix, wherein we take the conjugate of the complex numbers. That is, we invert the sign of the imaginary number. So for this matrix A, we can write the conjugate as A dash, which is A minus BI. And whenever there's a real number, we need not change anything. This remains as P and this remains as Q. And for this, we get it as C minus DI. This is the conjugate for this particular matrix. And few points to note. Conjugate of a conjugate matrix is the original matrix. And if you have a product AB, and if you take the conjugate of this together, this is equivalent to A conjugate multiplied by B conjugate. Here we need not reverse this because there is no transpose operation. Therefore, the order remains same. And the conjugate of A plus B is A conjugate plus B conjugate. We have one more operation, an extension to this called the transpose of conjugate matrix written as A par theta. As the name suggests for the conjugate matrix, we just need to take the transpose. Suppose I have a matrix P with some complex numbers. For this, we can form the transpose conjugate P theta, which is 2 minus 3, 2, 
So we take the conjugate, then transpose the elements. And for this, few things to note: a theta, whole part theta is a, and when we have a b part theta, it becomes b power theta and a power theta. And here we are able to see that a b has become b a because there is a transpose operation. And lastly, a plus b whole part theta is a part theta plus b power theta. And if a part theta, if at all it becomes a, then a is called Hermitian matrix. If a part theta becomes negative a, then it's called skew Hermitian. And if a part theta multiplied by a, if it becomes identity, then it is called unity. These are very much comparable to the transpose matrix which we have learned previously. There we had symmetric, here we have Hermitian. There we had skew symmetric, here it is skew Hermitian, there we had orthogonal, here it is unity. These terms are very important, so try to memorize them by writing them on a paper. And they are important because in questions you come across these terms. So in order to understand the question, you should know what are those terms. So give your time to learn them properly.